Welcome back, all the participants. I hope all the participants are able to hear me loud and clear. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone. <clears throat> so, hope my voice is uh, crystal clear for all the participants, or you have any disturbance in between. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so first, I would like to recap what we see in our previous sessions. In our previous session, that is yesterday, first I started to introduce about SAP HANA, S4 HANA. So what have we done? I was just trying to introduce to participants why SAP HANA S4 HANA is extremely high performance. Due to its capability of in-memory, the complete software is designed to run in memory. The way it stores business data is in a column-oriented fashion. What is the advantage of storing data in a column-oriented fashion? The advantage is it need not scan the entire table. It can go only to specific column and fetch data. Whereas in row, it has to scan the entire table. Participants, just I'm trying to give you recap for five minutes. Once I complete the recap, then we are going to start the regular session, creating business scenarios in today's session. It's a very interesting session. Just please give me five minutes. I'll complete the recap. So, so SAP HANA, S4 HANA, it's in-memory, column-oriented. Why not SAP stores data in row-oriented fashion? When we store data in a row-oriented fashion, just like traditional software, any question that we ask, it will scan the entire table. We were also discussing about massively parallel processing. In massive parallel processing, complex programs are broken down to smaller subsets and each part of the program is individually processed. Finally, it assembles the result and, give, and given back to the user interface. So this is just the basic fundamentals of SAP HANA. I'm not writing anything on the screen. Still, I, I haven't started writing anything on the screen. <clears throat> now, yesterday, Yesterday, participants, we were also trying to discuss about SLT. Now, here we have SAP system. So here we have SAP. <clears throat> so here we have SAP. And on the target, we have HANA S4 HANA. Now, what is my requirement? My requirement is I need to migrate from SAP to HANA S4 HANA. How will I migrate to from SAP to HANA S4 HANA? Using SLT. What is SLT? SLT stands for SAP Landscape Transformation. What is the purpose of SLT? The purpose of SLT is to transfer or migrate data in real time. So whenever you'd like to migrate data in real time, we use SLT. So from SAP, we connect to SLT and SLT to SAP HANA. Yesterday, I was showing to participants now, where is this connection established? This connection is established in a T code, LTRC. Please see participants. 
I log in to remote desktop. I hope uh, all the participants uh, already re received the server access. Hope all the participants start practicing on the assignments and they receive the server access. So please uh, practice on the assignments. So you'll get an uh, eight months of server access from the backend team. So you'll receive an eight months of server access that will be provided by the backend team. Now this server will have all the S4 HANA, B4 HANA, SAP system, SAP Fury apps, everything it will have. Okay, let me log in. Let us type in RDP. Click on remote desktop connection. This is the IP address participant. So you'll receive details for this IP address. So enter the IP address, click connect. Every participant will have their own user ready and password. So please enter your user ready and password and click yes. So once we click yes, now I'm logging into remote desktop. So once you complete your assignments, please submit back to the L1 support team or if you have any issues, please send to the L1 support, they will take care. Okay, <clears throat> now, now we are inside the remote desktop. Click start, click all programs, click on SAP HANA and click on HANA Studio. What is HANA Studio? HANA Studio is the user interface to work on HANA S4 HANA. So now we are logging into HANA Studio. So why am I logging to HANA Studio? I would like to show participants where is this data provisioning. Please see participants. Click window, click perspective, click on reset perspective and click yes. So once we click yes, now here see participants, you'll see something called data provisioning. I click on data provisioning, I select the system and click finish. So once we click finish, so here you notice you'll have SLT, SAP Landscape Transformation. <clears throat> So yesterday I was showing to participants, where can you see this configuration? Please see participants, here you can see schema. Now where can you see this on the SAP system? In order to integrate SAP with HANA S4 HANA, what we need to do? Click on SAP logon. Anyways, uh, this will be taken care by the administrators. So let us double click on the SLT. Provide the username and the password. So we all share the same user ID and password. Once we log into server, we all share the same user ID and password. Click enter, click continue and click continue. Enter the T code LTRC <clears throat> and click enter. Now, once you click enter, what is the T code participant? LTRC. What is LTRC? LTRC stands for Landscape Transformation Replication Cockpit. Now here we can see there are two configurations. A configuration is nothing but integrating source with target. It just create a connection. Please see, when I select any of this and click on details. Now here you can see at the other settings, please see what is this real time? What is real time? Real time means 
whenever you make any changes on the sap system immediately within milliseconds it will be available in hana s4 hana now this is called as configuration once you create a configuration what does that mean these three systems will start communicating to each other you see these three systems <clears throat> so there is a pipeline established there will be a pipeline that will be established from source to target so from this pipeline in real time it will transfer to hana s4 hana in a very layman terms now let us get, let us get back to remote desktop now let me close this let us go back to hana studio now here you can see what difference do you see <clears throat> what difference do you see from sap and hana s4 hana what is the basic difference can we notice on the sap system these tables are row oriented tables in sap hana once these tables get migrated these tables become column oriented in here you do sequential processing in here we do parallel processing in here it stores data on disk and some basic differences i'm trying to highlight in here it stores and processes completely in ram so it's called as in memory column oriented and parallel processing <clears throat> now okay tables got migrated once the tables got migrated participants where do you find these tables inside the hana studio now this is the hana studio where will you find these tables under system so here you have something called system the username for login to sap hana is best and password w capital welcome 123 so all of us share the same user id and password now let me show you how we can log into hana system let us go back to the hana studio <clears throat> excuse me let us right click on system click log off right click click log on now where is this you need to enter the user id and password right click on system click properties so here you need to enter the user id the password is w capital welcome 123 just you can check this option where the user id and password will get saved click apply and click okay so next time we don't have to even enter the user id and password just you need to log off select the system right click click log on <clears throat> excuse me okay this is fine once you log in what do you find over here participants catalog and content what is a catalog and what is a content let us discuss this briefly a catalog excuse me <coughs> excuse me a catalog a catalog is a collection of schema a catalog is a collection of schema what is a schema a schema is a collection of database objects like tables these tables in sap hana these tables are column oriented and these tables you can do they can store data in memory now what is content content is a collection of package what is a package a package 
is a collection of a package is used to group together related information. For example, everything with regards to logistics, it groups in one package. Everything with regards to finance, it can group in another package. <clears throat> Excuse me. So packages are nothing but grouping together related business scenarios. Like account receivables, payables, general ledgers, order to cash, plan to procure. So everything with regards to logistics in one package and the other one in finance. Now, what do you have in these packages? In these packages, we have business scenarios. What do you have? Business scenarios. Now, please see participants. Let me show you one business scenario. How we can create these business scenarios. Let us go back. Now here you see when I expand catalog, I go to the schema called best. Expand the schema. Right click on tables. Expand the tables folder. Now this is called a schema. Under schema, what do you have participants? These are called as tables. Now you see, under this table, you see there's a green color highlighting. This is called as virtual table. And here you see these are called as column tables. Double click on the table. Now these are known as column stores. It means that physically they can store data. They store data physically. Now you see, when I double click on the table, it's called virtual. What is virtual? Virtual means it can access data on the fly, on demand. So from cloud or from on-premise, you can access data on demand. So these are new kind of tables, especially used for non-SAP systems, <clears throat> especially used to integrate with non-SAP. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, so catalog is a collection of schema. A schema is a collection of tables. Tables are stored in column-oriented fashion and they are in memory. Okay, now, here you can see content. What is content? Content is a collection of package. All these that you can see here, there are different packages over here. Please see participants. I'll go to one SAP standard package called SAP. Once you enter SAP, here you go to a package called SAP. Expand this package called SAP. Expand HANA or expand HBA, expand ECC. Now, what I would like to show participants I would like to show participants. You see, there are so many business scenarios over here. Scenarios regarding accounting, scenarios with regards to bill of material, scenarios with regards to controlling, so many scenarios that you find it over here, like customer scenarios, delivery scenarios, goods movement, inventory management, sourcing, procurement, Everything that is regards to supply chain management, manufacturing, warehouse management. So everything that you find it over here. Now, my question to participants, how are these business scenarios created? And how these scenarios are available in SAP? Now, these scenarios are scenarios that we imported the standard functionality of SAP. How it is imported? Please see, click File, click Import. Here you see there is something called Delivery Unit. What is this Delivery Unit? A delivery Unit mode to import objects available at server or at client location 
in the form of .tgz files. Please see participants. Why am I showing this is because how this standard functionality got Im imported to SAP HANA S4 HANA. Just I am trying to show you how this is imported. Please see, click next. Select the system in which we would like to import. Click next. Now here you see it is asking for the file. If you select, click browse. Here I kept the scenarios over here. This is called as HCO HBA. Double click on this. Please see participants. <clears throat> so these are all the different scenarios that SAP standard functionality has provided. Now you can use them on cloud or on-premise. Now these are the basic building blocks that an S4 HANA runs in the back end. Completely these building blocks are provided by SAP. All these business scenarios are provided by SAP. <clears throat> now my question to participants, how are these scenarios created? You need to know how are these actually scenarios created by SAP. Okay. Let me show you an example. How these scenarios are created. Let us go back. Let us right click on content. Click new. Click package. What is a package participants? Package is an object used to group together related information. Let me give a name for the package. I'll give a name S4 HANA. <coughs> Excuse me. So here you find S4 HANA. I'll just give a name triple zero nine and I click OK. Now, please see participants. Here you see there is something called delivery unit. What is the purpose of delivery unit? The purpose of delivery unit is to transport packages from one system to another system. We can export from development system and import to QA system. So what I'm going to do, I'll click OK. Once I click OK, let us find for this package S4 HANA 009, triple zero nine. So here you find the package. Now what I would like to do, please see, when you right click on the package, click new. So here you can see attribute view. What is an attribute view? Attribute views are known as reusable dimensions. What are they known as? Reusable dimension. What is a reusable dimension? When we say reusable, what does it mean? To share. What you would like to share? I would like to share master data. What master data you want to share? Master data is only created once. Once it is created, we can share across multiple scenarios. Please see participants. I click on attribute view. I'll give a naming convention. Whenever you would like to start an attribute view, usually they follow naming convention called AT underscore customer. Let us give label, nothing but description. Just I'm taking a very basic example so that participants can understand how these business scenarios are created and what is the purpose of these business scenarios. Using these business scenarios, you can write data, you can read data. Okay, now I'm creating a scenario called AT, which is a naming convention. And here I'm providing a label called customer. View type is an attribute view. And let me click finish. Once we click finish, please see participants. 
once you click finish now this is known as scenario it's called as scenario now what is the beauty of sap hana we don't have to do anything everything is navigation just we need to understand the scenario based on the scenario just we need to drag and drop few things automatically scenario gets generated on its own pc let me show you <clears throat> it's a five step process step number 1 what is a data foundation a data foundation is a place where you start creating a scenario for example let us click on this plus icon enter a table name participants how these tables have come to sap hana s4 hana these tables we transferred from sap using slt to target hana s4 hana once these tables are transferred they are stored in schema a schema is a collection of tables pc participants what i am trying to say once <coughs> once you transfer these tables how are these tables transferred using slt slt will transfer these tables but once these tables are transferred where they basically store in a schema what are we trying to do now we are using these tables to create business scenarios where under package what is a package package is a collection of together related information where is this package under content okay let us come back i'm creating a business scenario i'm trying to enter table that is relevant for my business scenario for example kenya one what is kenya one kenya one is nothing but customer master pc participants you can see so many times this kenya one repeating normally in the real working environment you won't find this scenario just because all the participants are practicing that's why you can see the same can you on so many so in so many schemas you can see over here so what i'm going to do so i'll select can you on from any of the schema just i'll select from this let me try taking this because i never know i have uh, authorization to select the table but just i'm trying to give it a try let me select the table and click okay now once you click okay now here you can see slt sap practice in this schema you have a table called can you one customer country name of the customer city of the customer and so on what are we trying to do enter the table at data foundation step number 1 enter tables at data foundation click on the plus icon enter a table called t005t what is t005t this table consists of <coughs> country related text this table consists of data related to country just i am trying to access this table from another schema just i'm trying to access from another schema called slt data 9 and click okay now here you see a data foundation is a place where we define a relationship between tables what we need to do now tc what is my requirement over here here you have land one but the text for country is over here land x is over here now please see now here you have 
an id called us us is nothing but united states that is over here what i'm going to do a link both this tables just click just we need to link now once we link once we link both these tables now here you can see we need to specify here text join why we need to specify text join what is the meaning of text join a text join means <clears throat> normally in a text table you have descriptions for multiple languages i would like to get the text based on user session language please see participants what is my session language when i scroll to the top right click on the system click properties click additional properties now what is my language over here now text is something which you can maintain in any language texts are nothing but descriptions descriptions are something you can maintain in any language you can maintain in chinese you can maintain in japanese <clears throat> so all these are different languages what i'm trying to do now i would i am a, i am an english user so i would like to see my text in english suppose say there is a chinese user a chinese user would like to see text in chinese but for me english is sufficient so i'll select english click apply and click okay so participants what is the purpose of text join a text join is a join that produces descriptions based on a user session language if a user is logged in in english the text will show in english if a user is logged in in chinese the text will be shown in chinese whenever you select a text join in here we need to select spres whenever you select a text join we need to select spres what is spres it's called as language key now this is mandatory if you don't specify spres system will throw an error it will say language key not found that is the error system will throw so it is mandatory to text spres whenever we take text join okay again coming back step number 1 add tables to data foundation according to business requirement step number 2 join tables step number 3 select according to your requirement what is my requirement i would like to see what is my customer id what is the country of the customer what is the name of the customer what is the city what is the region of the customer i would like to also see what is country text this is nothing but country text now once i select all the required columns once i select all the required columns click on semantics at least one key attribute at least one key attribute click select validate and click save and activate select the request and click finish it's a very simple steps add tables to data foundation join tables select required columns to the output what is semantics semantics is nothing but 
the output of the data foundation. Output of the data foundation is known as semantics. Click on semantics, at least one key attribute. Click save and validate and click save and activate. Now, please see participants, <coughs> excuse me, click on data preview. Once you click on data preview, now please see what does it say? Data preview is not possible. Object is either broken or inactive. Okay, why this error is occurring? The only reason is you need to have access or a privilege to access the schema. We cannot take as per our wish, whatever we would like to take, we cannot take unless and until we are, we are authorized to access. That is the reason I know this error may occur, but still I would like to show participants because I'm selecting a schema, which I even don't know who has created. So a little modification I would like to make. I just would like to make a little modification. Right click on this, remove, click, just quickly remove this. Now what I'm going to do, please see, what is the user I'm logging? Best. If I log in in a best user, then obviously the tables inside the best, I will have access to. So I will select the same table from the best schema. Just quickly I'll redo again. Please see this time that error won't occur. So let me select from a schema called best, same tables. <clears throat> so what I would like to say is, whenever you're taking a tables, we need to make sure that we are authorized to access those tables. Okay, let me link and let me, just I'm trying to show participants a very basic fundamentals on how this HANA is, HANA is for HANA, business scenarios are designed. So select the required columns, click on semantics, at least one key attribute, click validate, save and activate. Select the request, click finish, and click data preview. Once I click data preview, now I'm sure I can see data. Click on raw data, now please see participants. I can see the customer ID, country of, country ID, name of this, name of the customer, region, and just I will drag and drop this country over here. <clears throat> just let me drag and drop name over here. Okay, customer ID, name of the customer, country code, country text. Just what am I trying to show participants in today's session? In today's session, I wanted to show participants what is a basic building block to create a scenario. To create a scenario, once we migrate tables from SAP using SAP landscape transformation to HANA, S4 HANA, these tables will start storing in a schema table is a column oriented table. These tables store data in memory. We can use these tables according to our business requirement in business scenarios. Business scenarios are grouped under package. A package is under content. Now what we have done, I created a package how to create a package, right click on content, click new, click on the package, provide the name and the description, click okay. So we created a package called S4 HANA 0009. And then once the package is created, right click on the package, click new, 
click on the attribute view. What is an attribute view? Attribute views are used to design master data scenarios. Provide the name, provide the description, click finish. And then here you can see data foundation. What is a data foundation? A data foundation is a place to create a business scenario. Once you select required tables, join the tables. Why are we selecting a text join? A text join is a join that can produce descriptions based on user session language. So once I join the table, select the required columns according to the business requirement, click on semantics, at least one key attribute, validate and activate.